Hello. Hey, um, so this is, um, this is your very special, um, video tour of the house, as promised. I'm <clears throat> feeling well rested. It's been a great week, um, in most ways. And, um, sorry, I just had a message notification pop up on my screen. So rude. Um, yeah, good week. Exhausting, but here it is Saturday morning. Oh, had a lovely sleep. Got my delicious coffee in my just absolutely priceless Albany mug. Mmm, yummy. Got some great coffee here. Um, really helps like lift morale greatly. Not that morale is lacking, but you know, can't have too much good morale, can you? So. Yeah, here we are. Um, where to start? I'll start probably in the messiest room, my bedroom. <laughs> uh, it's my little nest. It's comfy. Got my air conditioner. It's nice. Got all my um, my clothes on my wardrobe. There. Closet. Pretty well organized. Got this shelf now. It's got some stuff on it. It's pretty fun. That's that. Um, the living room. So this is pretty much, I haven't done any cleaning, so please excuse the clutter. It's been a busy time recently. Uh, but, you know, she scrubs up all right when we do tidy. Uh, you know how you know it is. Uh, here's the living room. Little, like, hang zone. Comfy little window box. Lovely chair. Another lovely chair. Chairs everywhere. We can accommodate a few. Here's the, um, here's the console to the mothership, you know, exploring, um, exploring space through sound. Just need another sip. So that's the living room, very homely. And then here is the dining room, which has actually really improved a lot in the last couple of weeks. There was just a touch a ton of like leftover drywall pieces here. So that's all been taken downstairs. You're going to see that soon. Kay's done a wonderful job of organizing all of that. Um, so soon it'll be a proper dining room. Just need to get rid of these boxes. Um, what else? These totes. Once the spare room, AKA Keith's room um, is done, it's going to be like a great storage spot, um, so you'll see that in a sec. So that's the dining room. Let's get a copy view of it from the other direction. It's nice. House is still a bit of a construction site, but hopefully not for too much longer up here. Just need to finish the spare room, and then I'm going to ship all of the building stuff downstairs and just give it a good clean. Give this ceiling a bit more of a scrape. Just so it's visually a bit nicer looking. Got some big flakes coming off it. Um, not that they're, they're going to fall. It's really thick. It's this texture coat. But I think that ceiling's going to be quite nice once it's done. Um, and yeah, it's the dining room. Here is the kitchen. Lovely big refrigerator. Ooh, refrigerator. And kitchen island. Covered in stuff, but yeah, um, not too much. A couple of minutes, put that all away, no problem. Here's my here's my air rifle, which is great fun for like shooting at targets out in the out in the yard. I like shoot out the window like a sniper. It's um, pretty fun. And what's the kitchen? It's nice. Nice big sink. Ooh. Yep. Shelf. With stuff. Microwave. Coffee pot. Excellent. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's look at the spare room. So this is where we're up to. The walls still need to be like patched a little bit and then coated a couple of coats of um yeah a couple of coats of plaster then 
here is the new drywall. Oh, I can hear Keith. So this is going to be the spare room. It's I'm going to hit it hard today as well and get a lot done in here. So hopefully these walls will be white or whiter by the time I do the next video. Um, here's the bathroom. It's quite nice. Shower. Needs a bit of a clean but works wonderfully. Step inside the shower. Ooh. Shower. It's nice. It's got a little bench. So the shower, showery can sit down. Okay, I hear a young Keith meowing like crazy. So let's go and let's go and rescue Keith. This is an opportunity to go downstairs. So you kind of go through the back door of the kitchen here. Um, through the back door of the kitchen into this kind of space, this extension, which is I'm using to store my recycling and scrap wood and stuff. And then we go down these stairs. To down a couple more stairs to the back door where the cat is. Keith. Hey buddy. Oh, here he comes. Hey pal. Go and get some food. Get a feed, mate. Whoa. He's a funny little bugger. He'll figure it out. Um, so now we go to the downstairs unit, which is entered through if you look upstairs, right, upstairs, and then next to the stairs, there's this partition which I've taken apart so I can walk through it. Hey, buddy. So then you walk through the opening in the partition. That partition was initially there to separate uh, upstairs and downstairs, so they've each got their own independent basement access. It's hard to see, but there's another little stairwell down there. But the stairs are broken, I need to rebuild them, those stairs. So I'll just use that other entrance, it's quicker anyway. So we are downstairs in what will be the kitchen space. Um, right now it is just kind of tool organization. And... Hey buddy! And Keith's other hangs on, he loves it down here. I think it's probably because it's uh, riddled with vermin that he can chase around. Although... I haven't noticed any, any, we don't really have any vermin problems. Um, and this is the dining room up downstairs. And I'm opening this wall up. So it's gonna have a nice big opening in it. So you, the, yeah, so it all flows nicely. Everything. <laughs> it's funny neighborhood noises. Oh uh, yeah, downstairs dining room. Through to the front door of downstairs. Needs a front door yet. Hoping to get that done soon. And then downstairs living room. Which has a lovely refinished floor. And a lovely refinished pool table. But is otherwise, you know, evidently rather rough. That's the door that's going to go on the front door. That's just leaning there for now. Uh, but yeah, this is the room. It's downstairs living room. It's going to be a great room once it's done. Um... Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, get him. Yeah. Bedroom down here. Again, needs a lot of work. Just need to fill up, patch up the insulation. Drywall, bit of plaster repair. New ceilings. All the electrical. Um, so the bathroom. So obviously have to do all of that framing and electrical and plumbing in there and then drywall and finishing and trim, you know, not too much. Um, and then second bedroom down here, not super large, but big enough. Hey buddy. Yeah. And then this room has a closet. 
which is cool. Closet. Forgot to show you the closet in this other one. This closet here is enormous. So that's the door to the closet. And then if you go inside, it goes a long way back. Big closet there. So that's the first floor. Um, once Keith's room upstairs is finished, I think I've mentioned this before, but um, once Keith's room upstairs is finished, I'm just going to get all of focus all of my uh, construction energies on getting downstairs here done. And because it's relatively, because I don't, I'm not living down here, I don't have to be as precious about um, separating the work. So I'll be, I'll be able to do a lot of work all over this place at once rather than going room at a time, which I've been doing upstairs, which is pretty inefficient because getting out all the electrical stuff and then putting away all the electrical stuff and getting out each set of tools and materials that you need for each stage over and over again when you're just doing like one room at a time is um, a big waste of time. But if, you can, if I can do all of the electrical down here and then all of the plumbing and then all of the stuff and then just go through and do each of the different trades um, all at once, it'll just go a lot faster and be a lot more efficient and cost effective. So anyway, that's the plan down there. Quick tour of the basement and then we'll do a tour of the grounds, which is where the magic is these days. So down here in the basement, uh, quick pan. So we come down these little steps, just to orientate us again. There's the steps upstairs that we came down. Come down these other little steps here, and then down into the base. Basamonte. So, we get to the bottom, there's a washing machine. There's this PVC curtain, which I've used to section off the toilet down here. This is the party toilet, so when we have parties, this is the toilet people use. Um, and then a nice sink. You know, it's utilitarian, gets the job done. And in so there, you can kind of see that canvas curtain. So this canvas curtain here, um, just goes down like that. So we can like section off that portion of the basement. And then there's another curtain here that does the same thing. So that's kind of hung up at the moment, but that releases and it kind of goes behind that mirror and it seals off all of that part of the basement so that really during this is just when we entertain so when we entertain down here it's just this space with a you know quasi private toilet and yeah it's all you need so then we go down here this is the piano that was left in the house, it, it was like well defunct, 100% non-functional. It was actually lying on its face on the basement floor when I got this place and I had no idea what this enormous lump of like wood that seemed to weigh oh, probably about 500 kilos, like it's really freaking heavy. Or maybe not 500, maybe 350, a lot. And so... Um, me and a couple of buddies managed to like lift it up, um, and revealed the underside, which is this beautiful piano, like string plate or whatever they call it. It's just, I think it's bronze or something like that. And it's just one giant piece and it's what holds all of the strings, um, intent, like just holds them all. It's just incredibly strong. So, uh, look forward to repurposing that for something sometimes just. A beautiful object. Um, let's have a little. Let's have a little investigate. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Um, and then the rest of the basement is very basementy and utilitarian. Um, a thief's dream, though. There's lots of tools and like. You know, fun stuff down here, so gotta keep things tight. Um, 
but we haven't had any troubles yet. Touch wood. That's the basement. Basement's pretty cool. A uh, couple other basementy things. Um, this is the hot water unit, and this is the central heating system that I um, put together myself. And so this sends hot water through the radiators upstairs and warms the rooms quite nicely. Um, there is going to be an upgrade before winter in this box is a big U-Butte um, on-demand tankless gas hot water unit. And it's going to be the one responsible for the central heating. Um, so that only fires up when it needs to and it produces really, really hot water, like 180 degree um, Fahrenheit, which is lovely. And so it should be nice and efficient. And now we are down here uh, in the backyard. It's not lovely. Fire pit in the middle. It's usually like a circle of chairs around the outside, but they're all out in the side yard that we'll see in a sec. Probably finish up with the side yard, I think. So that's the backyard. So if you come into the backyard, we'll go in and then we'll have a look back at the house. the house. There's the door that we just came out of that goes down to the basement or up to the upstairs. And then there's two side entrances. So there's that one there that we're going to go through. And then there's that one there which goes out to the other side yard. So I've got like two side lots. Um, I'll show you the first one now. So we're going to go this way, out onto the side. Lawn mower. Trusty lawn mower. Just won't quit. Here we go. So now we're in the side yard number one. And so that in the background is the Lee Plaza um, building, which is getting rehabbed supposedly soonish. They're just securing their last funding. I've mentioned that before, but you know. Um, apologies for the repetition. My yard goes pretty much all the way back to where the grass gets long, kind of back there. And then this is my like little pallet stockpile. Eventually I want to like fence both of the yards um, and have just a kind of secure perimeter. But right now it's open. I've used these sunflowers and zinnias to kind of define the boundary. They're quite nice, aren't they? Yeah, this is the side yard. And then we go around the front. It's the front sidewalk. And then this is side yard. So all of this trim is just sitting out to weather because um, apparently the weather is the best thing to take old paint and finish off trim. So, trying that as a little experiment. And here we are out the front. Ooh, get the little pots. And here we are on the other side yard. So, there's the house. Here's the other side. So this is the camo net that I put up for privacy during parties and these are the zinnias and sunflowers on this side. Probably a bit of a tough time these ones, not sure what it is. I don't think it's a lack of water, I think maybe they're too shaded. Um, I wonder if that's what the issue is. They get a lot of sun, like they are, they're only shaded for the morning and they get dappled sunlight and then for the rest of the day they like, they get plenty, but not sure. What do you think? Hmm. They're okay. They kind of perk up when it rains and when it's cooler. We're just having a bit of a hot spell at the moment. But yeah, that's the other side yard. All pallets. And so those, that's all the chairs. That's, 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 
These are the chairs that usually go in the backyard, uh, but they're out here. But they'll probably go back there soonish. We'll have another little fire soon. And yeah, oh, and this is the DJ booth with the sunshade structure on top. And there's some scrap cardboard that's waiting to go in the bin. And let me go back. What is that? Back into the backyard. Um, so that is the house tour. Minus the attic. But there's not much to see up there. It's just a big beautiful attic. Um, just imagine pretty much the entire floor space of the house but in uh, roof space. Kind of like this. So this is the attic. It's super awesome. Um, it's not very light, so it's hard to convey, but basically all the way up there is the front of the house. And then if I turn around, back there is the back of the house. So it's just this big wide open space that eventually is gonna be kind of studio suite um, with wet areas, kind of in this corner, because that's where all the vents and drains and stuff are. So it makes sense to, I have like a little, I have a shower, toilet, vanity, and a little kitchenette as well um, up here eventually. Um, and then the rest of this space will be like living and with a little bedroom tucked in behind a partition or something somewhere. And then, Eventually I'll put in skylights, insulate the roof envelope so I can get this nasty insulation off the floor and reveal the lovely uh, floorboards that we have up here. They're actually really nice. And yeah, it's going to be super sick. And then I'll probably put a ceiling in or, or move these collar ties up just to lift this ceiling height a bit more because there's a ton of volume in here and it would be a shame to just like keep it low like that. So I'll probably uh, do like a bit of a roof edit and just lift those up. They, they're they not super necessary structurally where they are right now. It's nice to have something, but um, they're not doing a ton of work. And the rafters are two by sixes, so they're nice and deep. And that gives us lots of depth for insulation as well. We can fit like a good amount of insulation. So we'll probably have like bats inside the cavity with ventilation channel and then insulation board over the top of that and then uh, sheetrock or some kind of other finished material attached to that and that'll probably be on batten so there's an air gap so there'll be like air gap board insulation probably some kind of vapor barrier maybe bats another air gap sheathing shingles all of that stuff so that's gonna be awesome um but yeah it's just a matter of time making it happen, you know? But yeah, it's gonna be sick. And then I wanna put some skylights in here. Skylights, that window at the front, I'm gonna to convert to a door and that's gonna go out to a little balcony on the front. That's part of the porch rebuild. I might even do the same here with these, do these windows. Also have a little set of doors onto a little side balcony. So I have like two balconies up here or even, you know, something that wraps around, it's probably silly, but yeah, love that idea with a couple of skylights. Um, yeah, she'll be a ripper. So that concludes the house tour. Um, it's pretty comprehensive. And if I missed anything, I'll uh, post an update. And yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, let them rip. And yeah, anybody else who's watching, uh, shout out to you, especially my good buddy Nick, who I'm going to see in couple of weeks and he will be the first to inhabit Keith's room other than Keith so very excited about that um, safe travels mate and see you soon and yeah Em love you and speak to you soon peace